Okay, so let's say I had 3,216 and I wanted to divide it by 6. Now I'm going to show you how to do long division two ways. One way is the way that I learned. Um, I'll call that the regular way because I think it's the way that most, most people in the United States learned. And then I'm going to show you another way, which may be the way that if you're a parent watching this video, maybe the way that your child came home doing it and you're kind of confused. So I wanted to show you both ways. Um, and then I also want to break down the way that we were, we were taught it, or many of us were taught it, um, to show that you can still show place value and the concept of place value that way. Okay, so um, recently when I was tutoring um, a fifth grader in um, math, she was showing me long division this way. So she said, we do, this is what we do in class, 3,216, and then we draw this around it and then I put the 6 here and then actually I am going to erase this because I don't need it to be this long um, then she said now I need to figure out how many times 6 goes into 3216 so I need to think about hmm so she goes I do what if I do, how close can I get to 3,216? What if I do 6 times 600? What does that equal? And she says it equals 3,600. So that doesn't work. That's too big. I need something less than 3,216. So what if I do 6 times 500? Uh, that's 3,000. So she says to me, that works. So um, it's going to be 6 times 500, so I put the 500 here, and then I put the 3,000 underneath, and then I subtract, and I get 216. So now I have to use either 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 90. So um, basically 6 times and then some number where the tens place has a value of 1 to 9 and the um, ones place has a value of 0. So she says let's try 40. So 6 times 40 is 240. And that doesn't work because it needs to be less than 216. I can't go over 216. So let's do 6 times 30. And that's 180. So that works. So then I multiplied 6 times 30, so I'm going to put the 30 here. And then I put the 180 underneath. And then I subtract, and that's going to be 36. Okay, now this is easy. 6 goes into 36 using 1, so meaning 6 times some number, which is uh, a digit in the 1's place from 1 to 9. And that's going to be 6, so that's kind of that's easy there. And then as I can see, 6 times 6 is 36. When I subtract, I get 0. So then you say, all right, so the answer is 500 plus 30 plus 6. So it's 536. Okay? So 3,216 divided by 6 is 536. All right, now I'm going to switch colors, and I'm going to show you the way that I was taught it. And um, we had a specific algorithm that was divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So I'm just going to write divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, we're going to keep that on the side. All right, so I was taught to draw it like this. And 6 goes here, 3,216. So then I just start. I start with 3. 3 divided by 6. Because that's a number less than 1, a 0 goes here in the thousands place, so I need to move on to 32. 32 divided by 6, that goes in 5 times. And then I multiply. 5 times 6 is 30. Then I subtract. 32 minus 30 is 2. And then I bring down the 1. Do the same thing. 21 divided by 6, that's going to be 3. 3 times 6 is 18, subtract, that's 3, bring down 6, perfect, 36 divided by 6 is 6, 6 times 6 is 36, not 0, and I'm done, 536 right here, okay? 
Now, I am going to explain now how this really is the same thing as this. Okay, so I'm going to delete that circle so that we can see, and I'm going to switch colors. Red. Okay. So basically what we were doing here was we were saying, actually, you know what? Uh, no, I'll leave the bring down stuff there. Uh, what we were saying was how many times, when I said how many times does 6 go into 3, and it goes in less than one time, so that's why we put a zero above, it's really 3,000. There's kind of this stuff going on behind the scenes, okay? So then when it doesn't go in one time or more, I put a zero in the thousands place, okay? Which would make sense because 6 times 1,000 is 6,000, and that's clearly greater than 3,216. So then I move on to the hundreds place here. So you can think of it as, you know, 3,200, or sometimes we say 3,200, okay? So what you're doing is you're saying how many times does 6 go into 32, but really, really you're saying how many times does 6 go into 3,200, or technically 3,216, but you're going to see what I mean in a second. So when you say, well, 6 goes in 5 times, Really, it's going in 500 times, okay? Because 6 times 500 is 3,000, which we're putting here. We're just not showing that. We're just not showing. We don't have to sit and say multiply 6 by some big number because we automatically know that it's the hundreds place. We're dealing with the hundreds place here. So the 5 is really standing for 500. We're just not putting in all those extra zeros because it's just extra time. You know, we don't need to. As long as we understand this concept that we're, we're, we're chilling in the hundreds place, we don't need to do that. So an example, let me just show you. If I had, uh, let me do it in a different color. I'm going to do it in green. So over here, look, 32 divided by 6, okay, and that equals... Five, and I don't really care where the decimals are here. Okay, what's after the decimal point? Okay, um, so think about this. If it's really 3,200, okay, all right, we just changed this side of the equation, 32 times 100 and divided by 6. It's really 3,200. Well, in order to make sure that this is still equal, we have to multiply this side by 100. So it's the same concept. If we're dealing with 3,200, we're dealing with 500, and we're illustrating that right here by showing that the five goes in the hundreds place. So when we do the subtraction, I know we're just subtracting the thousands and the hundreds, and we end up with 200, and then we bring down the one, okay? We bring down the one, and then and then even though it's not really here, we're, we're actually bringing down the six. Let's pretend the six comes here. So then we do the same thing. We do, okay, what's 21 divided by six? Now, it might seem like you're just doing regular old 21 divided by six, but you're not. You're really doing 210, or if you want to say 216. But then again, the six is going to come down, so we don't have to worry whether we're saying 216 or 210 isn't going to make a difference for right now, okay? So it doesn't, it goes in three times, but really what's going on is it's going in 30 times. It's going in 30 times because we're talking about the tens place. So six times three is 18, but really if we're talking about the tens place, it's 180 and this is really 216 or 200 depending on how you're looking at it for right now. Okay. So then we do the subtraction. We get 21 minus, um, 18 is 3, but remember, this was really 216. This was really 216, okay, and 180, so then it becomes a 6. Or if you chose that to be 200 and you're bringing down the 6, I mean, really, it doesn't matter how you're thinking about it there. Um, so then you end up with 36, and then it just becomes easy. We're now dealing with the ones place because there's no other numbers here. So how many times does 6 go into 36? It goes in 6 times. So here are all your numbers. Look, 500, 500, 30. 30, 6, 6. So it's possible to show place value here as well, you know, just, just illustrating that concept. Um, and um, it's the same thing. It's just we don't do those extra steps because once you understand the concept of place value, hundreds place, um, tens place, ones place, you can take this shortcut. You know, that's what I always told my students. I have no problem with shortcuts in mathematics. But before you start taking that shortcut, I'm going to teach you why that shortcut works. And I want to make sure you understand why that shortcut works. And, you know, I've been known on my tests to then ask a question explaining how a shortcut works. <laughs> so, um, but once, once we know that, once we really understand that, um, we can do these shortcuts and it's great. It's a lot faster.